today we're going to be talking about why an operating agreement is so important when forming your business. My name is Brianna Robertson. I'm the managing attorney at the law office of Brianna C. Robertson, where we specialize in legally protecting businesses so that way small businesses and big businesses can go out and do business in confidence. So let's get into the topic for today. Why is an operating agreement so important? So um, I was recently asked a question in a consultation about why do I need an operating agreement, especially if I'm a solo entrepreneur, a single member LLC, or, you know, like, what is the point of this? Especially because operating agreements don't have to be filed with the Secretary of State. It is not required to form an LLC at all. So why do we need it? Well, the reason that you need an operating agreement is to put an extra layer of protection between you and your business so that way your your LLC status or the limited liability status can have a stronger stand. If you don't have an operating agreement, then your LLC will start to closely resemble what we call a sole proprietorship. A sole proprietorship is when you just open your doors and decide to do business and you don't file anything with the Secretary of State with your state. Um, it starts to resemble that when you don't have an operating agreement because you're just operating business, but you just have like these, you know, these little papers. Um, that's the difference between with the LLC. So you actually filed an article of incorporation with the Secretary of State, whereas with a sole proprietorship, you did not. And with a sole proprietorship, you don't have any protection um, against lawsuits. So if you have a sole proprietorship and somebody sues you, then you, your business, and all of your personal assets are now on the table for grabs versus when an LLC, if they sue your business, they can only sue the assets of your business and not your personal assets. However, when it comes to litigation and having an LLC, there is this term called piercing the corporate veil. And what piercing the corporate veil means is that you and your business, you know, are one and the same, like you guys are like the same thing essentially. And because you are the same thing, um, they can pierce that LLC status and then come and attack your personal assets. Um, this happens a lot if you have like commingling of funds. So if you're commingling your business funds with your personal funds or you're putting all of your personal things on the business credit card and things of that nature where everything starts to commingle together where you and your business do start to look the same and therefore they pierce the corporate veil. Now, how is this? Uh, why is this so important when it comes to an operating agreement? An operating agreement is kind of like a contract that you have with your business that outlines how your business operates. It outlines, you know, how you who's going to contribute what to your business, um, how payments are going to be made. Essentially, the rules that your business has to follow in order to operate. And this is important because now that your business has this document or these rules that it has to follow in order to operate, it now puts a little bit of protection or like a shield between you and your business. So that way, if somebody does come and try to sue you, you can say like, no, me and my business is not one and the same because my business, in fact, has all of these rules that it has to follow. I can't just do, you know, whatever I want to do, but there's rules and procedures that I have to follow that I take whenever it comes to operating my business. And that is why an operating agreement is so important when it comes to creating your LLC, is to put that extra layer of protection between you and your business so that way your limited liability status can actually keep its limited liability status. Um, the other thing that, or the reason why an operating agreement is important is because it also will address important matters that is important when it comes to having a business, such as um, what will happen, like how do you make changes in your business? How do you add partners in your business? How is partner voting going to uh, happen? What will happen to your business? You know, should something happen to you? Um, you know, how's your business going to be passed down and all of these different things. So, um, this is why, like I said, an operating agreement is so important because it kind of dictates how you want your business to operate and what should happen should you not be able to operate your business. And let's say you need to close your business's doors, the process in which you do that. So with that, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video. Um, that way that you can be notified anytime we have a new video that drops so you can get this knowledge on how to protect your business. Until next time, see y'all.